Hey everybody, Texas Stroker Airlines is performing shop LoneStarMopars.com. We're in the shop Sunday afternoon. It's evening now. It's gotten cold. I should have should have had a hoodie or a jacket with me. But nonetheless, the show must go on. I'm cranking some videos out, and uh, this is some stuff I've needed to get taken care of for a while. I pushed one of our tool hauls up. We've got a ton of stuff that's come in recently. Uh, I have a package that should have been here Saturday. It's now coming Monday. It's going to be super cool as well. But this one will be uh, quite Jador centric. That said, Hazet and Vitfan, stay tuned as well. Uh, nonetheless, as you know, with a thumb injury, which my nail came off Friday night, ironically, uh, when I was opening some of this stuff up, the little green packing paper Casey Tool uses now. No idea why, but somehow that just lifted the nail off. And uh, so now the hideous nail that I kept covered that was bloodied and mangled and stitched on, uh, now it is uh, just a very strange looking pad of skin that I'm not sure if it looks like it's supposed to or not. But uh, for your convenience, it is gloved by Alpha. If you like these, alphagloves.us, use the discount code Lone Star. Uh, save yourself pretty good chunk of change and uh, you can bring some in. I love them so far. I've had several of you say that you brought them in and liked them. I had a friend locally. Uh, she liked them so well, she bought a pair for her dad and for her husband. So that was pretty cool. But I open up with that note for good reason. Uh, prior to, you know, reaching out to Josh at Alpha, you know, and kind of hearing back from him, I was going gun ho I was trying to find a good glove for my thumb, good gloves in general. And as you should know, and I've alluded to this, what about the German tools, right? The German gloves, if you will. Well, I went ahead and checked them out, and uh, we waited a long time for one of these pairs to come in. But let's get started here with these. And uh, some of you, if you follow on Instagram, at Lone Star Mopars, you might have seen these when we uh, took a look at their Torque Fix Torque Wrench. And for good reason, because it paired so beautifully. Now, online these look a little different than you see them here. But if you're looking, you're thinking, wow, you know, Jador makes gloves. That's awesome. I'm going to have to check them out. I would gladly pay a little bit extra uh, to have some good quality glove, you know. Hold your horses, uh, because while these are good, there is a catch. And uh, if you take a look at this side, you probably wouldn't know. You're like, man, what's the deal, you know? Where are these made? Are they stitched in Germany, Austria, <laughs> Czech Republic, Switzerland? Where, where did they come from? Well, if we uh, remove my thumb, you kind of see something like, hey, that looks really familiar. What is that? Well, there's another one there. But when we flip this, do you see that? That M? Can you, can you read it now? It's mechanics wear. That's right. These are made by mechanics. Many companies do this. Mechanics is huge. Uh, so big, in fact, a lot of companies that want their own branded or, you know, uh, logo gloves approach them on the glove side and say hey make me some and they tell them what kind they want what style you know where they want their logo how many logos all that stuff but this is based off of mechanics fast fit gloves now if you recall we uh i've had i used to buy mechanics and they would last and then they quit lasting and they always failed every time in the same position just like these here this is my my last pair that i kept Northern Tool, I brought some in. They were the impact ones. They were the first impact gloves like this that I could find locally. And I got them on a great sale, like 17 bucks. But when I was at Northern Tool, I slipped on a pair called Fast Fit. And that is what these Jador gloves are based off of, is the Mechanics Fast Fit, right? And I actually liked them. They're not impact rated. They're not going to be heavy duty. They'll probably wear out. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to see. Maybe they put them through stricter standards. Not sure. Let's find out. Got them, of course, from KC Tool. Part number, if you are interested, would be 920. Jador 92010. It'll be their fast fit gloves. I went with a large in this because it wouldn't be impact. So I figured it'd have more flex and I could fit my mangled thumb in it at the time. And uh, as I mentioned, the fast fits when I tried them on at Northern Tool weren't really that bad. Uh, there is a cable tie here. And fittingly, we don't have anything but these channel locks to, uh, to get rid of it. So not sure if that's the best idea. Hmm. Yep, we're probably going to want, I want to preserve this paperwork. Uh, so how about this? How about we open these up in a little bit uh, when we take a break to go grab some? Because I don't want to cut anything there. I want to kind of see what their paperwork says. Uh, we can kind of get a good look at it. It's their 
gets mod fast fit. So it's kind of styled to be sold, you know, in Europe. But again, my apologies. We'll take an extended look in just a second. Sticking with the Jador theme, though, uh, I picked another one of these up. Why? Because I like them and they're cheap. Uh, this is basically my way of not having to get a Walmart or Target and buy some like Lisa Frank uh, spiral. That's probably overpriced. What do you pay for these? A dollar eighty-five. Uh, it's not necessarily the most dense. They're not like thousands of sheets of paper, but I do like them. I like the square grid. Uh, I take notes on them. I diagram things and I take them apart. And quite frankly, the convenience of having it shipped to me and the fact that it's under two dollars makes it worth my time. Similarly, one of the things I really like is the Jador pins. This is like probably the third round of these I've brought in. And, uh, price point on these suckers, 71 cents a piece. Try to go to Office Max, Office Depot, Walmart, and find some pins that you can get for 71 cents, particularly of a brand that you like uh, that look good and write in blue. I prefer blue ink. That's what these put out, just like the Stavilla pins. Uh, but these are pretty solid values. So basically... $1.50 for the pad, $1.50 for the pins, $3. I got a pad of paper and two pins. I think that's pretty legitimate. Now this right here will tie in with something that is coming uh, in a future video. In fact, it is what is currently holding up a big order I placed a while back. And it's so nice. In fact, it has to be double bagged. That's right. Uh, but what is it? Well, let's take a look at it from this angle, shall we? This is from Jador, as you can see there. And I'm just going to go ahead. This is going to be an adapter, 3 8 adapter for a 13 millimeter. And this is intended for a 7R, 7UR. And you're probably not going to know what that is, and that's fine, because that'll come later. But basically, GR232. 0487 if you want their official number you can pin in on KC tool or you had trouble finding it 1998 ish I think I might have paid a little less than that but uh, what is it what what in the world are we dealing with well it's an adapter and you're thinking oh wow you know so yeah you got a square square drive there with a ball T tint that's that's kind of weird and what's that then it's hex why would you need that? Oh, it's knurled on the end. You must be wanting something that you can come in and hold between your, you know, functional fingers or something. And what, like put a put a 3H drive socket on and then the ball detent holds it really well. And then I guess if you can hold it and you can get a wrench on it, you could spin it that way. Well, you could technically do that. That's for sure. <laughs> so when I spin this over, you're looking at that side and you're like, hey... Is that a button? I did not expect that. Does does that ball detent work with that? Well, check it out. You kind of see what's going on there? So, think about this for a little bit. All right, we've got what looks like... What does that remind you of? I don't know, maybe the back side of a ratchet or something? And yet, then here we've got a hex design, which makes no sense, right? Uh, what are we going to do? Are we going to drop this in some 3H door ratchet you don't know I have and spin it into a hex insert and then have an, a drive end on it? Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder what that could possibly do. And I tell you what, let's save that for a little bit later as well because we're going to move on. I got something I've never seen anyone bring in and it's actually going to come in really, really handy. It ties in with those fin combs from an Amazon tool haul. And it is right here. This is also from Eudora, <laughs> and uh, I tell you what, I'm I'm going to introduce it and price it for you. Its part number is going to be 906. Does anyone know what that is? Do you study your, your Gador catalog? Probably not to that extent, but price points are going to come in 2585 So you're thinking, hey, you know, that costs, the gloves, by the way, were uh, 2329 which mechanics fast fit, kind of depending on where you get them, what the price point, that's sort of in line. I've seen them like $14.99 to $24.99, so, you know, not a terrible price for a fast fit glove from mechanics if that's your bread and butter. But part number 906, this set us back a little bit more, about $2 more than that, about $6 more than whatever that thing is. And what is part number 906? Hmm, I don't know, foam tray? Did, did we get a foam tray for something that you didn't know I had? Huh, it sure looks like a foam tray, doesn't it? Oh, I didn't even know that was there. Fantastic. So that's Jador 906. Had I have known that was there, we would have we done that and made you guess. But, 
This is your giveaway right here. And you're thinking, oh, it's got a handle to lift the foam tray. You're getting warmer, but uh, what this is, and people always make fun of these, and I don't know why. Uh, I swear by them. This is a kneeling board. And now when you think, oh, a kneeling board, and you said the fin combs, you must be going to take and throw this out by your air conditioner unit while you painstakingly comb through all the fins for insurance. <laughs> that is correct. That is exactly right. And I will tell you right now, I've never had one like this. A couple years back, I got my uh, mother and sister like gardening kneeling boards, uh, which I think they're awesome. I don't know that they were super impressed by them, but whatever. What I run here in the shop is one of those summit pit mats. It basically folds up in half, and I love it. You can get under a car with it. You can leave it folded for double padding. Anytime you're down on your hands and knees, it just comes in super, super handy. And the catch is that thing didn't really fit well on the cement, right? You just have a small slab. Typically with your air conditioner, you need just barely enough for the footprint. This thing does because I checked the dimensions ahead of time. So uh, I thought about it and I thought, man, there's so many times I wish the thing is with my summit one is it is filthy and there's really not like a good size way. I guess a trash bag would do it. But with this, I could come in and I can take just a standard plastic bag like I'd have from the grocery store, Walmart, Target, whatever. If this thing is filthy, I can throw this in there. And then when I go to my sister's house to fix something, or if a friend is broke down, whatever it might be, imagine having this when you change a spare. You know, whether it's your kids, your wife, your girlfriend, a friend. Imagine you're having to go out and take a tire off and put a spare on. Yeah, you're always down. And typically in Texas, okay, this stuff happens either in the summer where the pavement's like a 140 or in like the dead of winter where there's like you know sleet falling from the sky not necessarily accumulating but making the pavement wet with like a 48 mile an hour north wind <laughs> you know having this to keep my knees off the pavement is well worth the 25 dollars now do i think you could sell it for less than that absolutely uh is there anything that i want to tout that this german you know unit is going to be superior to one you might find locally Probably not unless they use cheap stuff, but this thing is pretty nice. Number one, I love the color scheme. The blue stands out awesome and just rough dimensions for you. We'll come in and do it ourselves. Going to be about 17 and a half across. Uh, the depth, again, this will be limited. Like if you're wanting to use this as a creeper, this is not the board for you. Eight and a quarter here, and then the big one, the thickness overall we're looking at about an inch and a quarter so uh you know 1.250 if you will as you can see using this thumb that also got hurt in basketball not near as bad in my right one it does compress well uh, how long will this hold up i don't know but i'm going to use the snot out of it and its first task will be outside at the air conditioner unit and uh, these work so much better. I know a lot of people use like fold up old towels or sheets or something for stuff like that because it takes a long time to comb the fins on an air conditioner unit. That's basically should have been totaled out by the hill. And uh, this will be a lifesaver for me. Now, if you like this, but you're you maybe not like the color scheme, or you you know you're like, oh well, I don't I don't do Ghidorah. You know, Hazet has something. It's very very similar to this. It's just going to cost a little extra. And again, the fact that this does have the handhold is kind of a nice perk as well. So uh, we've got that. Also, when you use those flush on the ground, you can use that handhold to like drop down you know screws, fasteners. Uh, small tools, things like that, so they don't roll off into the grass or something. Uh, or if they're in the grass to begin with, uh, you can keep them there and it's easier to kind of keep tabs on them. You can also, of course, puncture it and hold bits or drivers or whatever you want to do, but uh, just bottom line, it does come in handy. So, we have covered that, we've covered the riding pad, we've covered the pins, we've partially covered that weird little thing, right? Uh, we need to get something to cut that, but a good segue to that is here. This is what took an eternity to come in. Now, these suckers were in stock at KC Tool, those Jador gloves. These were not, and that kind of tells you something, right? And you're like, hmm, more gloves, see? And they were, they were not in stock. I wonder where these would have come from. Well, let me pull this out now. It's also, I don't think we got a, a bit of thinks with that order, but yet I did here. And it was, once again, number 13 of 24, which is in there somewhere on the back side. Spoiler alert, down below in the description box, you will see something called the Bit of Thinks Checklist. All right, and uh, when you find that, you can go in. If you've got bits that you want logged that I don't have logged, leave a comment, I will give you credit. But right here, 
Hazette, 1987. 5X, 5XL. You're like, wait, were you born in 87? What's the catch? 5XL, your hands can't possibly be that big. Sort of misleading there, I will admit, but the um, way this works is these are simply 1987-5 would be a part number, and right here indicates they're extra large. These are gloves from Hazette. Now the catch with these, these are not, as far as I know, mechanics. If these are mechanics, they are not labeled anywhere. All right. Uh, in fact, I'm honestly not sure where these would have come from at all. Uh, I do know that they were made in China, is all I can tell you. Now these right here, Vietnam, these China. So in terms of like German gloves, at least what's available over here in this style, I don't like those weird ones, you know, that you can get, like, you kind of know what I'm talking about. I prefer mechanic style. We'll just leave it at that. This is kind of what we have. There's really nothing from Vera or Philo. If there is, you know, it's not readily available for me to find and purchase. This was a known entity because it was mechanics fast fit. This was a total unknown, and I kind of had high hopes for it. Again, this is before I found Alpha, and this I was thinking, man, I bet Hazette has really stringent standards for their gloves, and that's going to come in and cradle my thumb and protect it and be amazing, right? Now, these are super expensive. I think I got them in around like the 30s. I guess the price went up or something. Probably they don't sell a ton of them is what it is, but $46.44. And that's not necessarily out of line with an impact glove. It sort of depends what the materials and the quality and the bolstering is. But what I need to do is pick up a couple items. I want to cut all this stuff off camera so you don't have to watch it. Because, again, it's cold and that makes my thumb worse. <laughs> so I'll get going on that. And then we have something else left over that I need to show you. And we're going to save it for the end. And I'll, I'll try to try to do something with this weird little thing for you so stay tuned give me one second and we will be right back we're back that's right got this stuff cut off again these little micro cutters have come in super handy again something like this when you're trying to save the paperwork you can't use giant pliers and the little ones they really do fill a nice void that said this Jador glove right Mechanics fast fit, that's what you need to know about it. If you run in O'Reilly's, AutoZone, Pet Boys, whatever your local parts store is, somewhere near you probably has mechanics gloves in the traditional sense, the originals like that, uh, which I've had terrible luck with, or this. This is sort of a, it's almost not as heavy duty even as the original, in my opinion. Granted, that might just be years of grease and neglect or something, but they fit, they're comfortable. If you were just going to be doing light duty stuff, sweeping, package handling, uh, yard work type of thing, I think these would fill a very nice void. Now, of course, they're going to offer amazing dexterity, you know, like I'm freezing out here now, but I mean, you can feel, you could possibly even you know, like thread bolts type of a thing without issue uh, even in the cold weather they're not impact rated they're not designed to be the most durable they're just basically a garden variety glove for you and again the price point if you're a huge fan of Ghidorah that's where these would become very worth picking up kind of if you like the color scheme if you have like run-of-the-mill gloves at work and people are always taking yours Whatever the situation might be, uh, whether you just love the company, whether you like their tools, if it's that simple, if it's just, hey, you know, those are nice and they're going to be, no one can take these from me, no one else is going to have them type of a thing, that's really where they would serve you very well. Uh, these little pull tabs, the Milwaukee's have those. I kind of have to use two fingers, but I have used them at work and they've kind of, yeah, you know, been nice for me. Uh, in terms of touchscreen capabilities, I don't know. This one doesn't seem to advertise it. Let me actually uh, slide down. It does work, so that's cool. Got me to my lock screen. Uh, so I guess the thumb at least. Let's see if the uh, index finger is able to go. Yeah, so they work now. Now if they got dirty, I'm not sure. I have a couple of the Ironclad Exos have zero touchscreen capability. <laughs> it gets really annoying. But uh, these, again, I don't think they're going to be like your longest lasting glove. I'll say that right out. And that's not a knock on Ghidorah. Uh, that would be mechanics you know, issue. But it's also not a knock on them because they were commissioned. So bottom line, if you're looking for just a garden variety glove and you love the company or you love the color scheme, one of the two, I think these would be fantastic for you. Now, 
what's cool uh, right here this is Jador work right uh, quality tools you've got all about them this is fast fit mechanics gloves they're large size spin it around and it's a uh, snug fit to retain positive feel and dexterity that's pretty much what I've said that's literally what you would want to know about these are made in Vietnam the coolest thing about this is if you're on the fence about them again you can easily find mechanics fast fit gloves locally and when you try those on I tried on like a pair I think it was like black and gray at northern tool this feels exactly the same so in terms of protecting my thumb or being the longest lasting glove I don't think that's going to happen here, but these are cool. <laughs> you got to give them that. So uh, that said, anything else here? This was sort of something I was interested in. Uh, it looks like there's a date of June 4th, 2016, USA. Not sure what's up with that. Uh, must be something mechanics-wise when they printed this off the door. Again, this is what I was trying to salvage by not cutting or mangling that cable tie. And... Uh, opening it up these really like i said have nothing nothing special nothing fancy but uh, you can kind of see there's your manufacturer information if i spin this around i saw mechanics listed somewhere yeah right there you can kind of see the mechanics trust me it's sort of in the corner of this tab uh, so again, they're just rebranded mechanics gloves. Lots of companies do it. The Hazette is going to be a much heavier duty glove than this. Now again, Jadora could easily come in and say, hey, mechanics, make me your impact gloves. This is what I want done. As far as I know, this is all that's available and they do look really neat. But uh, this one, I don't feel like Hazette necessarily was going for the aesthetic win here. Otherwise it would have splashed colors like Jadora did. But these are actually a little bit of a you know better glove again for garden variety high dexterity you're mint uh, for something to protect your hand a little better you got a little impact protection here you got sort of an extra pad on the knuckles not quite to the extent of some of my you know specialty uh, impact gloves but this would be a definitive step up glove wise may not last as long i don't know vietnam china we'll have to see how it pans out but Nothing here. This is, I guess, double stitched for the uh, thumb saddle. But right here, we've got palm padding all the way across there. We've also got reinforcements. Where did these mechanics gloves fail? Well, let me bring them down for you. Fingertip, fingertip, very tip, fingertip. You get the idea. And you don't see any reinforcements here on the mechanics gloves. But on these Hazette ones, you see reinforcements not just on the index finger but on all of them and you saw multiple fingers filled there on those uh, double stitched here uh, coming in that's kind of where their branding is the splash of color comes right there and that is vented that is a big deal because otherwise these would probably be pretty toasty which wouldn't be desirable year-round uh, coming in right here, this is the terry cloth towel sweat wiper. But check out that reinforcement again. I don't know what factory made these. I do know that online it said China. Even if you went straight to Zet's German website, they were indicated as China. These are Vietnam. These tie in beautifully with what we're familiar with. But these suckers, they do have the impact protection. Now this being a fast fit, we do not have Velcro. With this, we do have Velcro. And it doesn't seem to be terrible. It doesn't seem to be the best, but it's certainly not the janky cheap stuff. When I flip this tab out though, you can see Hazette. You can kind of see the impact right down there. It's in that little shield. And then you can see it's 1987 5XL, size 11. Uh, on the Jador gloves, when we come in and take a look at those, you'll actually have a bigger tag, trademark, you know, mechanic style. And you can see that these are fast fit, European 9, US 10. It's showing some sort of a shield, but again, there is no real impact protection on this, suckers. Uh, if I had to tell you which glove is going to be more durable and last longer, I would swing for the fences with a Zet. Again, could be mistaken. We've done that before. Uh, but initial impressions, that would follow up the, just the feel of the glove, you can tell. If you're just wanting high dexterity and you love the company, Go that route because these are really nice looking gloves. Uh, again, nothing, nothing much more in terms of details here from Hazette. Uh, looks like you can machine wash these, which I guess could be a perk for you. 
but that is about that so what we need to do now is take a look at this weird little thing and it's kind of weird having a hazette glove but uh this again is from the door it's that weird adapter and you might think well hey you know you you've got that hex piece there and you've got a wrench aha we were right you know you're going to drop that down your 13 millimeter wait that looks like a ratchet and that would be correct but what are you going to do? This is just a standard old U.S. Craftsman, right? We can't ratchet anything, but we could get that in a very tight space. That's a much slimmer profile than most ratchet heads are going to have. And just go around and then run into a header and what? Pull it out and come back up, put it back and repeat. That's not a bad idea, you know, or hey, you could just get the socket in there and then maybe even come in with the uh, open end of the wrench, right? Type of a thing. Well, kind of, but... You know, let's think about this. Let's take this a step further, okay? So that side wasn't wanting to go in. We've got our jokers here. And again, open end is just not really happening, right? Let's come to the clothing and you think, wait, these are jokers. That means they ratchet. Isn't that correct? And that would be 100% correct. So we've got that tucked in there. And you see what we're doing now? Uh-huh. <laughs> making sense to you, right? We're torquing down, we run into the header, we come up. We built ourselves a ratchet. And when you think back, you're like, wait, what did you pay for that? Wasn't it like 20 bucks? 1998, my friends. I believe it was one of you. I think the guy that uses his wife's beauty supply account a couple of videos back mentioned something about these to me. And I put it on the wish list, finally brought one in. And I gotta say, I'm pretty excited about it. Now, right here from Viha, we've got their run-of-the-mill uh, ratcheting wrenches, right? Come in, stick that sucker down. Same thing, right? So what's cool about these is the ability to turn a 13 millimeter wrench, in this instance, 3H drive will be 13 millimeter, into a ratchet. And check out that head. Think about that in comparison to a standard ratchet, particularly over here. Look how thin that is with this Viha wrench. You see what I'm doing? Yeah. Now, if you're thinking, hey, you know, wouldn't wouldn't Jador have like a ratcheting wrench that would pair really well with that? Hmm, they just might. That might be a hint for you. Uh, but whatever ratcheting wrench you have, 13 millimeters, again, this is why I had Craftsman, Viha, and Vera, just to verify the fitment. You can tuck this sucker in and build yourself a very, very nice low-profile ratchet. So the thinnest box-end ratcheting wrench that you have can essentially become a ratchet. You're not going to break the bank with this. Honestly, this feels better than a lot of ratchets I've had in the past. <laughs> but it's super cool, and I've got a lot of ideas for it. And spoiler alert, it will be elaborated on in future videos. But that's what that sucker is, and uh, that's why we got it. So we have one more thing left. This thing has been a red battery light flashing like crazy for quite some time. I'm going to see if I can get that over here and opened up, and we will take it in stride. So... This was the tool of the day. It set me back $34.99. And some of you probably could throw an educated guess out here of what it is. And you would be correct. Because what is most likely that I would bring in from KC Tool? Oh no, you're saying it already. Like more screwdrivers. That is correct. <laughs> and uh, what this is, this is from Vit, and this is their Max screwdrivers, not Max Pro. These don't have the flocking or the fleece or the felt or the grip pads or whatever uh, that you'd see here on their trilobe design, right? That's the difference between Max and Max Pro, essentially. The reason I brought these in, this is kind of going to be gone to the wayside. This blue, you know, gray, blue, silver color scheme, whatever you want to call it. They've gone black and blue, and I love it. And the bigger thing is I kind of wanted to get one at a time. This is one of those situations where if I were to come in and buy one screwdriver for like 15 bucks, and this set was 34 eh, you know, it kind of becomes a wash. Plus, I really do like the trilobe design. I know a lot of people don't. They like smaller, more crafted handles. I'm the weird guy. I like the bulb handles. I love the soft finish. I love the trilobes. Uh, it's just personal preference on that entire front. But $34.99 got this. It was the tool of the day back on October 7th. Part number here, if you love what you see, you want to put it on your own personal wish list, 
that's blurry as can be. But 9T653864, uh, that is going to be the six piece Max Pro driver set. So uh, you can kind of see they've got standard, pro, and max. That's just sort of how they would rate them. Uh, we're going to have a Phillips 1 by 80 millimeter, a Phillips 2 by 100 millimeter, and then we're going to have a series of four slotted 4 by 75, 6 and a half by 125, 5 and a half by 1, 8 by 150. And if you're thinking, hey, what are you possibly going to do with this? Well, number one, we're going to make a comparison between this set uh, and their standard run of the mill stuff. As far as I know, KC Tool has not gotten any of the new Max Pros in. Uh, that will be something else we'll try to get just one of, hopefully. All right. But I do have plans for this entire set, and you will be proud of me. Uh, what we're going to do, we might save back the Phillips 2 for a little bit, try to keep it in pristine shape and condition. But what I intend to do with this entire set is actually put it in the toolbox, in the trunk of the Challenger. We'll have a expansive screwdriver set that way for the car. Uh, there is some Phillips 1 stuff conveniently on the amp and the electronic side of the things. I don't know of a Phillips 3 screw on that car, so we're safe there. And then a lot of my hose clamps up front will be able to make use with the slotted stuff. So, I gotta get this high dexterity door glove off to uh, try and see. That's the biggest thing is I can't... There we go. Now I understand it. Uh, this translucent packaging was just kind of killing me. But check this out. There are the drivers, and I'm afraid we're going to lose the battery. So, I wanted to have this showcased as best I could. Again, we will be doing kind of a, a more expansive comparison uh, in the not-too-distant future. But, let me grab right here this guy this will be our smallest driver i love how vit does this they label everything on the shaft take my word for it that will be our smallest driver that's going to be the four by 75 millimeter it feels really good in hand but dang check out that color scheme if you didn't know black and blue that's something i really like so uh we've got that then i think this will be my phillips one that is correct and these do feel really, really good. Uh, some people will say, hey, use that for leverage. I don't advise it. I would use it for hanging. <laughs> That's just me. This is our Phillips 1 by 80 millimeter. Coolest thing, not only is the cross there, but it also tells you that is number one. So thank you. I believe that is a change as well, uh, which is a very, very welcome change. This bad boy right here that looks massive, I love it. Just the bigger the bulge in the handle, that tends to be what I prefer. It does vary sometimes. But right there, that's our Phillips 2 by 100 millimeter, And man, that looks good. So uh, there's that. And then these top three will be our larger, uh, if you will, slotted screwdrivers. So this one here, we're going to have our 5.5 by 100. So that's a 4-inch blade, if you will. And then here, we're going to have the 6.5 by was it 150 125 so that's basically like a five inch handle and then i'm going as fast as i can so we don't die and by us dying in the battery <laughs> yeah it's, it's a family channel right here though check that out we got the big one that's not always included the eight millimeter and this is 150 or basically six inch these are i don't think people really give vit the credit they deserve for making a quality screwdriver but again this is their new color scheme this would kind of be like this is one of their pro tops you can kind of see them transitioning um the only max pro i have over here is this tiny one <laughs> you can see that's what they used to be was gray and blue with a little touch of black what i am waiting on and what i'm hoping casey tool gets in uh, is going to be the max pros because I would love to have that for the comparison but uh, that is what we got that is what we brought in we've got that super cool Jador kneeling board right here part number once again conveniently stamped 906 we got this funky little thing that I toyed with you on <laughs> and, uh, I gotta say they do make these in quarter and half inch drive and depending on how well I like this one which I figured I would use the most 
very well may be seeing some companion friends. We got these specially branded Jador Mechanics Fast Fit Gloves. Not a terrible price, particularly if you love the color scheme or the company. These Hazette gloves were the real crapshoot, being that I don't know who makes them. Still got it on. I like it. I will say that. It's not going to have the thumb support, but it does have the sweat wiper, and then the fingers are protected. Sort of like the vibe, if you will, um, from Alpha. But again, this is all kind of going to be long term. We'll see what we think of it all. But got those drivers, got that stuff. We got the kneeling board, and I believe that is it. So, oh, also the, of course, the pins and the riding pad. Hopefully the video wasn't too long. I try to get through them as quick as I can. Which of these two gloves do you like the best? What do you think of the new color scheme here? Do you prefer it or do you like the old style? Similarly, did anyone else know about these? What are you doing with them? What are your thoughts? If you'd never seen one, is your mind blown? Do you think it's a great idea, a terrible idea? Do you see merit in the idea or is it just a waste of $20? Let me know your thoughts. But uh, it is cold. This thing's going to die. I wanted to whip out like another two or three videos, but hey, we'll do what we can. I'm impressed the battery's still going. So LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you got any questions, comments, uh, experience with any of these tools, feel free to leave that. Again, the end goal is to help people make a good decision when they're going to make a purchase. And past that, I believe that's all she wrote. So uh, with that said, thanks again for watching and uh, i'm gonna get inside make some supper try to warm up a little bit but uh, we got some really cool stuff here today we've got some more cool stuff i won't have time to make a video on and there's gonna be a super awesome box coming in tomorrow that should have been here saturday shame on you post office i was so excited saturday night going in there I expected to have a little key in my little tiny p.o box and it wasn't there and i was really sad but uh, the good news is should be happy monday so uh, once again thanks for watching i'll catch you back here in the next one